Hi, Pierce students. My name is Mario, and I'm one of the full-time librarians at the Pierce College Library. Welcome to this tutorial for your English 101 class with Professor Skelly. My goal is to help you with this research assignment so that you know how to best approach this assignment and complete it in a successful manner that is efficient and not so stressful but also rewarding in the sense that you get to learn about how to conduct academic research in a fruitful way. So I'm gonna talk a little bit of an overview for your assignment. The first thing we wanna understand is the actual research prompt. So from what I can tell, the first phase of this assignment is you have a list of 24 questions, research questions or topic questions, and you are supposed to pick three. And for each of those three, you are supposed to look to sources that help you address that research question. So two times three, that's going to be six sources in total. And for each of these questions, you're going to write a working thesis statement that addresses or answers that topic question using the two sources that you found for each of those three research questions. Make sense? Now, your professor did give you a lot of topic questions, which is great because you have a variety to choose from but I kind of see two flavors in the questions. There are some that are very humanities oriented or based off of literary analysis, such as the one about the poems or the Sinatra songs or the philosophers or Gatsby in film, right? Now for these types of questions, as a librarian, I would recommend particular databases because our databases have different collections of sources. So for these humanity oriented questions, I would suggest JSTOR, Gale Literature, and Academic Search Complete. We have many databases, and so sometimes depending on your topic, librarians will recommend specific databases because it wouldn't make sense to use JSTOR, for example, if I had a science-based topic, because JSTOR is not really a science database. So that's just a quick example. Um, the other category of questions from the list seems to deal with historical or political inquiries. So for example, I just gather a few from that list and I know that there's one on the defeat of slavery and the Lincoln-Douglas debates and also variations of Supreme Court decisions. Now, for these types of questions, I would typically recommend these types of databases. One, our ebook databases would be great for these types of history-based questions. And we have like four to two great ebook databases that I will show you later. And then we have this Gale database called US History and Context. So that particular database will be great for American history stuff. And then Academic Search Complete right here shows up again and it's recommended again because this database is multi subject and interdisciplinary, which means that it covers a wide range of academic disciplines and it, it can help you with either political history or literary questions. So that is one of our most popular databases because it has a large collection of sources and journals. So this is just an overview, right? So depending on the question that you choose, I might recommend particular databases because we have like 60 something databases. And unfortunately, there is not one way to search them all. Actually there is, and that 
medium is called OneSearch, which is not quite a database, but more of a search engine that looks through all of our databases at the same time. But I will talk about that later. Now, this is an example of what your professor is asking you for. Not so much an example. This is actually the description from your professor's assignment. So he just wants to make sure that you are grouping the literal question from the list and then that you place your thesis statement that cites the two sources that you have found to support your answer to the question. And then of course the works cited page in which you will list the two sources in their MLA 8th citation. Now, as an example, I have chosen the one of the Supreme Court questions, the one labeled 20D, 1944 Korematsu versus the United States. So what is my research strategy if I like this research question and I'm going to choose it as one of my three? So what do I need to plan for, right, in terms of my research assignment? My strategy would be, first, I need to identify the best keywords that cover the concepts of the question. Secondly, you want to think about what type of sources and databases would help you find the best information about that topic. Thirdly, you want to start actually searching these databases for these sources, right? And of course, you have to use some keywords. So ideally, you will explore what are the best keywords that really pull up the research on this particular topic. And then lastly, you're going to email yourself the best sources that you find from our databases to your own email, whichever email. And our databases can actually give you the MLA citation for each source. So it's very useful to use our databases because right off the bat, you're getting a pretty good citation in MLA 8th and you're emailing it to yourself. So you will already have it in your inbox, um, usually as a PDF attachment. And that way you can track all of your sources and you know which ones you have chosen and for what questions you are going to match the sources with. So let's continue with this example question. Now, the first step would be, what are the best keywords for this question? So right off the bat, Korematsu is a very unique word, right? It's not often that you're going to hear that word. So I can assume that that word itself will pull up research on this court decision. Secondly, this question is about the Supreme Court. So it makes sense to have Supreme Court as a keyword. And I am putting it in quotation marks because it's a search technique that tells the databases, search for this exact string of characters. So if I put quote, Supreme Court around quotation marks, any search engine is going to look for that exact phrase and not the word supreme and the word cord anywhere in the document. So it's a little bit more efficient by using the keywords. Next up, we could probably use the keyword constitution um, or constitutional. And then we could probably use Roosevelt for Franklin Roosevelt, the, the president who you know, executed this this um, decision. And then maybe the year 1944. I'm not sure, right? But these, this is my first instinct. So as you start searching, you want to play with the keywords that you think cover the topic of your question. And then as you start looking at the sources, you might figure out that certain keywords work better than others because they give you more relevant research than other keywords.